Hey and welcome back to Hank's True Barbecue. So today we're gonna fire up the kettle. Has some, has been a long time. I'm making a really nice dessert with pineapple and bourbon. So stick around. But not only that, I have this dripping griddle pan from Slow and Sear, and I haven't used it too much, so I thought this is the perfect time. But let's get the fire started. Now that's looking good. I'm gonna let it burn, let the flames die out a bit. But we're soon gonna do some direct grilling, get the pineapple at the temp, and then we'll do a second phase where we slice it and, and put it on the griddle and get some of that good bourbon on. So I'll let it sit for 15 minutes so we have some really nice glowing embers. So I'm gonna get the pineapple on. So we're gonna warm it up, char it properly. It's gonna go all black. Uh, and when turning, which I do every five minutes or so, we'll see. It's really good to use some good gloves so you don't burn your fingers. And the leaves are going to go first, of course, but we're going to cut that off, so no big deal. It's been on for a few minutes. Time for the first flip, so to speak. Just turn it gently and we'll keep going five or six times. Yeah, that's coming along nicely. I think I'll just leave it another three to five minutes and then we'll get the griddle on and get that heated up. We can consider this one done. Really nice, warm and soft, so time to make some sauce. Gonna get the pan out and get some good bourbon. No point in saving that one. get this warmed up a bit I'm gonna add some sugar so that's gonna be our glaze it's gonna be real flavorful and one tablespoon you can use brown sugar regular caster sugar doesn't matter much the sauce is looking good all the sugar is dissolved time to get that melts really good by the way all that bourbon I'm gonna get the Grip and griddle pan heated up. Looks like I'm gonna rotate this just a bit. There you go. Get this warmed up. We can get to searing. Should be nice. But before that, I'm gonna get this one sliced up. Get rid of all that charred skin on it. Oh man, that's looking good. sweet. So now I'm just gonna make some really nice slices. Just a bit thicker than normal. some sizzling. Get these nicely stored up. The plan now is to just give them some nice color, caramelize the sugar that's already in the pineapple. Flip it over, do the same thing, and then we're gonna baste it with the sauce. And add a little extra while serving, of course. Oop, lost one. Dang it. Clean that thing back up. Ready, back in action. It's nice because it has a big surface area, but any old cast iron pan would do. Now when you 
flip it, it's quite often obvious where it's hotter and where it's not so hot. So I guess I'll move it around just like regular steaks on the grill. But while cooking, add flavor. I think I'll do this third time and final time and then we should be ready to go. Alright, looking good. Time to get these off and start plating. Perfect color. Yep. ready and serving this is kind of a no-brainer pile up some scooped up some vanilla ice cream if it ain't broken don't fix it so we'll just add a slice or two here i should have gonna slice this in two looking good nice time to dig in gotta try this quick before the all the ice cream melts Yeah, this is good, really nice. You really can tell the bourbon's been infused properly. And the sweetness matches the vanilla ice cream perfectly. Oh man, this is good. Nice 30 to 35 minute cook. Mm. Doing direct grilling on a barbecue channel, wouldn't you know? Come Sandy, I guess I have a guest that's wanting to sample the food. We'll see if there's anything left for you later. Anyhow, this is highly recommended. Quick and easy cook. Nice to do after you've been doing like a full long day, all day cook or just on the leftover charcoal. Anyhow, really, really good. Oh man, I'm going to devour this bowl. Thanks for watching. See you guys next episode.